I'm not negotiating with myself. Yeah. The deal was already made. The deal was made. When I set out at the beginning of the summer and said, this is the training plan I'm doing, I signed that contract with myself. I'm doing it. Project 50. We're currently about three-fourths of the way through Project 50. So in this video, we want to give you our experiences with it so far. It's a project for 50 days that's supposed to help you be more mindful, organized, and in place with your life. I've seen it around online. We've seen Project 50, 75 hard, but we looked into it. We seemed like this one was more in line with our lifestyle. It's a challenge created by State of Mind or SOM Studios, or I've heard people say SOM Studios sometimes. Really though, we do most of the things on this list anyways. We just wanted to make the habits more concrete and have a more obligatory list and personal contract we can abide by. So ultimately, it's based off a study of highly effective people turn to seven rules. Project 50 consists of seven rules for 50 days. So rule number one, waking up before 8 a.m. We never had a problem waking up before 8 a.m. We just weren't consistent yeah, with it. Now, this rule was probably my hardest out of all the seven rules. Um, I just, I, I always want to maximize every day and I can't get to bed on time. So not being able to go to bed on time makes it hard for me to wake up. But 36 days straight now? I th I've, 36 I've days straight, but because we have to wake up earlier, we go to bed earlier. Right, sometimes she does. I'm bad with it. The only stipulation with that rule was you, you need six hours of sleep, but I don't think that's a deal breaker. Oh, we forgot to mention though, if you don't complete these seven sets of rules in between these 50 days, you have to start over. You gotta start over. From day one. From day one. Rule number two is, a. Uh, one hour morning routine with no distractions. This one's pretty easy for us because we have dogs. We wake up, walk the dogs. Do what we need to do around the house and get ready to start our day. Gets her meals ready for going to work and we, we journal and see what we have to get done throughout the week. Rule number three was 10 pages of a self-help nonfiction book. Yeah, um, it's 10 pages a day and my book was like a little bit over 300 pages. So you do the math. It's only been a couple days. I've read about 300 pages. I don't know how she on. Book number four. I see a big old brainiac over here. I'm not a brainiac, but in my free time, I read more than 10 pages. This is probably my favorite rule. I don't think it's hard, but this is one thing before I started a quote unquote challenge that I wanted to get done every day, but I was always trying to maximize other things throughout the day, and I couldn't get to this. So I bought like a million books and haven't read them. Haven't even cracked them open. I never had a problem reading. I just don't think I ever found books that I enjoyed reading enough to sit down and like want to read them. I think because I finally have my goals aligned with the books that I'm reading that it's actually benefiting me. Rule well, number four, work on at least one hour of any goal you want, any goal, any skill. Mine is pretty easy because we just started this little podcast YouTube channel together. So I, I've been researching gear, editing softwares, editing tactics, and sometimes my goal might be a fitness goal. So like, this one's pretty easy too for me because I can't, I need more than an hour mostly. I don't, this is probably the hardest one out of all the steps for me because like, I never had a goal or a skill that I wanted to like dive head in first to. Right. And now that I know like, I want my business, this is all I focus on. Besides the podcast. We probably overcompensate for this rule. Some days are like eight hours. Eight worth. hours worth of work. Like I'm about to edit this and edit last week. So I, I can skip some days if I could. Rule number five is maintain a healthy diet. This one, I have noticed changes in my diet. I feel like we were both eating very healthy before. Yeah, um, but we've cut out pretty much all processed foods that we can. I'm bulking, just trying to gain a little bit of weight. And so I haven't really been cheating my diet per se, but I have been stuffing my face recently of healthy foods. Probably another easy one for me because I'm regimented and I eat pretty much the same things every day. I prefer my palate to be a little more diverse. A healthy diet is really like, that's very subjective. Like what I view healthy. Could be. Yeah, my, my 3,500 calories a day is not healthy compared to her. 1900 calories a day, you, you know what I mean? They say no alcohol, no soft drinks in moderation, or if you know what you're doing, all shouldn't those be things a are no fine. Go. Rule number six is a one hour workout at least, which we do five to six days a week, sometimes seven. 
super easy for me. I love working out, and it's like an itch. If I if I'm not doing any sort of fitness regimented thing throughout the day, I go crazy. One well, hour of working out, seven days a week, easy peasy for me. Seven days a week does not give my body enough time to recover, mm -hmm. so I have to have at least one. Well, I, rest. I don't advise anybody to have seven of the same type of workouts, like break it up, you can do aerobic one day, yoga one day, weights other day. Rule number seven is? You have to keep a personal journal or track your progress every single day. We took this and like, Ran with it. Ran with it. We got like we have four journals. Obviously, one is our calendar and our client journal. We know what client likes what, how they get their haircut. I use an app called Booksy for that. And we journal our food in the app called My Fitness Pal. So I know how many grams of carbs, proteins, and fats I would like to take for my personal goals. We have a personal journal, and then we have um, where we log our workouts. So we use the app called Rep Count. I put all these apps in, in the description box below. So My Fitness Pal, Booksy, Rep Count, and our personal journal. So we write down like our personal goals or to-do lists in a- uh, Sometimes you just write agenda. random crap that you're feeling that day. So far, this has- 36 days in. 35 days 35 in. Day Feel more energized? Anyone who knows me personally knows that I love naps. I'm a nap like once a day type of girl. I don't feel like I need to take naps like nearly as often as I had did before. My day feels much more productive. It's like in a flow state. Wake up, walk the dogs, do the morning routine, get ready for work, work out, shower, go to work. You know, read my 10 pages before I go to work. It's just like simple, I feel more productive and I take that momentum as like a domino effect throughout the day. I've definitely I noticed waking up earlier I am so hungry by like 12 o'clock. Yeah, um, I've been intermittent fasting since freshman year of college. So it's like, I'm near a decade now. So like, using my first meal is around three. So waking up at 5.30 to 6.30 a.m. every morning has been really hard. And by the time it hits like 12 o'clock, I am hungry. I feel like I just recently started following along with the intermittent fasting. I do it for no health benefits other than not indulging in too much food. I have more time in the day to finish the tasks that I need to get done. Even on the days that we feel rushed, even though we're on track with everything, yeah. we have more time for each other, for the dogs, for friends and family. Like, I don't feel like when I do go back home to visit my mom, it's like, oh my God, we have to wake up and get everything done. Yeah. And oh my gosh, like, I only have an hour with her before I have to go back home. Right. I feel like w while starting this challenge, we do have more time for us, for a relationship thing. So we get off of work, we're already tired. We haven't got all of our steps out the way. I call it like homework. So I, if I treat it like homework, I get the things done. If you take our life and compare it from this time last year to this time this year, yeah, like. What the hell were we doing last year? I worked in a restaurant. I was Amazing crazy. Enough. We were doing like a semi long distance relationship thing cause we hadn't moved in together yet. And I was coming to see him like every day or every other day Right. after my shifts. Right. And then we go to the gym and we wouldn't get to bed until like what, three? Two, three. Two or three. I was always rushed. So like before starting this, I was like, something has to change. So this challenge right now has like got my timing and my CPT a little bit more under control. He's still late, a I'm lot. still late, but- But I'm, it's not like it used to be. It's calculated late, fashionably late. The reading part has definitely been one of my favorite. It makes me feel more like, it's gonna sound corny, but it makes me feel more at peace and like I got my shit together. For me, even if it's not like, I know a lot of people read fiction books because yeah. it helps them like escape the world yeah they can imagine what's going on in their mind but like even for me reading nonfiction books does that like i can dial the world out and just zone into what i need to be reading for the day and like nonfiction books only for me i can't stand reading. i don't read any fiction books yeah i, I can't stand the magical shit 36 days in 35 uh, 36 <laughs> they're gonna see it later anyways you think you're gonna do it again or do you think you're gonna continue on with this as a challenge? I don't want to treat it so much like a challenge. I want it to be more of a lifestyle. Do I feel like there's things that I'm gonna fall off on when we don't have to wake up and do this every single day? Yes. You think so? But it's not gonna be to the point where I stop doing it completely. If I didn't have time to get it done or if I just didn't feel like doing it that day, 
I'm not gonna beat myself up over it. I'm the opposite. I feel like three fourths of the way through, I'm already somewhat regimented in this new type of lifestyle challenge that I would feel bad and guilty if I didn't do these. There's no worse feeling for me personally than feeling like I wasted a whole day. Yeah. Whether that be learning, working, or working out. I'm not disagreeing with you on that because I don't want to stop doing the things that we're doing by right. any means. But it could just be a situation where like, oh, I didn't get to my skill today. I'll double up on it tomorrow. I feel like with our personalities too, like seeing her do the challenge and her like one-upping me on books or her finishing her task before me has made me like more motivated to do it as well. There would be days before we started doing this where it would be like, okay, yeah, we're going to wake up early and we're going to go to the gym. Alarm goes off when it's time to go. Alarm goes off at 8 a.m. Doesn't wake up till 10 a.m. Go to the gym at 3 p.m. Yeah. So that waking up earlier has definitely changed my life. That's cliche. As cliche as it sounds, as, as it's definitely sounds. like I understand now why like my grandma, for example, she wakes up early just because that's her body clock. But right. like when she used to go to work, I understand how productive her yeah. day is. I feel like taking back and looking back at like baby boomers and the generation before that. That's like the thing they were good at other than bitching at young people. <laughs> Waking up early and having good weather and getting things done early has given us more boyfriend-girlfriend time. Four days ago, we woke up a little bit later than normal, but we did wake up before 8. And that day, we didn't get our tasks done until after work. And guess what? It was our first argument in the 35 and days. We have had a healthier relationship. Without, I don't know how. like, trying to. Yeah, like, she's never been this productive. I've never been this productive, and she's never been this happy. <laughs> I will say, um, this challenge, I don't have before and after pictures, because I literally suck at taking, like, I can't even take before and after pictures for my clients, but, yeah. like, even myself, I've noticed, like, these jeans that I'm wearing right now are freaking huge on me. She's a lot, she made a good fitness progress. I've lost weight, and I've toned my muscle, but I feel like, stamina, is that a good word to use? Like, I don't, embarrassing as it is, like... I don't feel like I run out of breath doing little things anymore. <laughs> That's part of the game. 50 miles, 35, 15? Yeah. <laughs> so in these 15 days left, um, would I change anything about the challenge? I don't think so. I would like to get up a little bit earlier. I'm trying to aim for five. But once I do get everything out the way first before the work day, like my day is so simple. I just come home, walk the dogs, cook, eat, watch them on TV, go to sleep. Would you recommend this challenge to... Um, I've been trying to get my brother on. This challenge is more like, I think in the details on State of Mind's website is for like people who wants to be creators, entrepreneurs, business owners and stuff. Mm -hmm. I do, I highly, highly recommend this challenge for, for people who, who work, who want to work for themselves or are like artists and stuff. Mm -hmm. I feel like it, it's gotten me more creative in a way. Like I'm starting a brand new platform here. Um, I finally was able to come up with my business name. Yeah. One thing though with like starting like a side hobby other than your job mm -hmm. is I'm focused less on my job. I, I would like to focus more on my job because I still want to get better. I guess I, I've been distracted because my job is a hobby per se and I've been trying to ignore that my job is a hobby just to work on a new one for the sake of a challenge. That's the stipulation that I couldn't think of until now. If you lovely people have any book recommendations for either one of us that you have read yourself personally please comment them or feel free to dm us i'm john this is kaylee we didn't do an intro because we wanted to jump straight into the information about this because not everybody wants to hear a podcast see y'all next week bye, bye. y'all give them the instagram name we'll drop it in the comment i'll edit my instagram name somewhere i'll see y'all next week later later